In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite, or would we use it to destroy? Yes, yes! Tremble, Earthlings! Tremble before the might of General Skunkabe! <laughs> Skunk Ape may be a tool, but he brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. Yeah, Max. It's hard to stay mad at the guy. Witness Sam and Max. With my unstoppable dreadnought, my ship and queen at my side. The power trapped in the Fuzzy One's brain. I will destroy your pitiful planet and then dominate the entire galaxy. Totally ruin the moment. Ah, uh, wait, which one of us is the Fuzzy One? It's a familiar tale. A power mad space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic power. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre space zoo. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old-school freelance police-style beatdown to that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape! Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Hello, everyone! Surat here again with apparently a terrible frame rate on my recording. Wow. My recording's only running along at about 20 frames per second. Ish. Wow. Okay, enough of that. Welcome back for the beginning of Let's Play Sam and Max The Devil's Playhouse. Toy box. And many other things that will have the word devil put in front of them. As you can see, Sam and Max are in kind of a bad spot. They're kind of on this weird, you know, cage with a water bottle and all, and an alien gorilla is going around blowing up the city. Eh. So anyway, this is the tutorial. It'll kind of get us used to the changes they've put into the third season here. So let's get started, hey, by uh, following the narrator's advice. Switch control between Sam and Max this time, instead of being locked in Sam's you no know, point of view the whole time, we can be Max for periods. Although being Max is pretty much just limited to activating his uh, psychic powers. So let's do that, shall we? Let's become Max. And I just heard many of you shriek out, no. You are now inside the dankest recesses of Max's mind, where you can attempt to control his horrible psychic abilities, unlocked by the toys of power. Now it has been a little while since I've played the full season of this, so if I'm not mistaken, we do get a new toy that will fill in each one of those colored power slots at, you know, just throughout the gameplay. But for now, the only one we have is this one toy which allows us to teleport. As long as we know the phone numbers. Well done, my friends. 
Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself and his very long-time companion to that location. And also Sam. Yeah, we don't want to know what the other furry companion is. So let's go to Demon Cake Stinky Soul, huh? And by cell, we need phone and not the cage. Hooray! It's the Freelance Police! Oh, baby, I've missed you. <laughs> now what? Listen to the brain! Hey, Sam, but it's no our new pinky. pal, the disembodied alien brain. The same. I am speaking to you telepathically. No one else can hear me, Sam and Max. I can. Shut up. <laughs> Your Earth weapons will never be enough to defeat General Skunkape. Don't you still have that homing beacon? So let's check the inventory, huh? Let's see, we have a gun. My second best and third most dangerous friend. And I wonder what the second most dangerous is. Maybe Flint. It's Skunk Ape's penal zone prisoner's badge with built-in homing beacon. So indeed we do have it. What's this other thing? This remote control can open a gateway to the penal zone. Let's use it. If I open the penal zone before I get rid of this homing beacon, I'll get sucked in. That is a worry. And we can't really do much here. We can appreciate fine art. It's too bad Skunk Ape decided to go into galaxy domination. He's got a real eye for interior decorating. I guess. Okay. Give a gorilla a cool, heavily armed spaceship, and all of a sudden he thinks he owns the galaxy. Well, you know, that wouldn't be an unreasonable assumption. But we can't talk to Stinky there. Can't talk to Max either. And we can't really walk out of here because we spotted pretty much immediately. Let's see if we can manage to sneak up to Perfect. Skunk Ape there. Now, you must place the homing beacon on General Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone. Dramatic zoom. So let's try. Hmm? What's that? Did you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. I was hoping. We're gonna need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Skunk Ape. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. Behold! Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he's not quite tall enough to reach it. But Sam is. It's a lump of rhinoplasty. With help. The wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. And delivers about five to ten minutes worth. On a good day, boy. Right? Max, the rhinoplasty will grant you the incredible power of shape-shifting. You can use the rhinoplasty to pick up a picture of any inanimate object. Then, use the power of your mind to transform into that object. It's fun! I debated being fun, but it will be useful. Let's try it. And since we need a picture... And now that we have the picture... Max is a plant. Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, Freelance Police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkape before he reaches the Bronx, or all will be lost. And now we actually get to walk around, and we can do this. It's very limited walking around now. But as you figured out, as you hopefully figured out by now, you need to walk up to him and try again. Oh, a uh, plant. I love what you've done with the place, my queen. Love the little rolly eyes there. Now 
what? Now, we just use the remote control Mama Bosco gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. By the way, I love that look Max gave him just as he was walking up behind him, and then all he does is stick that on a tag or something. Anyway, let's use this now, shall we? <laughs> well done, Sam and Max. But I'm far too strong to be captured again. Soon this gateway will close, and there will be nothing to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up there? The door's locked. Hmm, I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was imprisoned, your friend, the Mole Man, was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. So, now we can actually, you know, fully walk around the ship. Let's try talking to Stinky. getting up, Stinky. Yeah, we got this. I want to get too close, or else I may get sucked in, too. Oh, well, there went that idea. It's locked. We'll have to find another way to get upstairs. Oh, well. So let's go ahead and talk to Harry here, since he's the only one that can... Well, let's try to drink from the water bottle, too. I never drink when I'm on a case. Oh, you should. It's fun. Hey, Harry, do you know how we can beat Skunk Ape? Poor Harry. General Skunk Ape put him in this penny-conscious terrarium to make an example out of him. Even if he could hear you through the glass, Sam, the sun lamp has made him even more worthless than usual. That's not possible. Max, you'll have to use another one of the toys of power. There we go. It's an ordinary deck of playing cards. Or is it? Max, the playing cards have granted you the power to thrust your consciousness into the fleshy minds of others and pluck out their most intimate thoughts. Ew. Only you can take something as beautiful and natural as telepathy and make it sound wrong. That did sound kind of gross, yeah. So, let's get a little closer to Harry here. Actually, let's see if we can... I want to see what she's thinking. I can't believe all the wacky hijinks that led to this climactic showdown. It'll probably be more believable once we've seen it all in order. That's a good point. What else is going How on How are we Skunk going to knock General Skunky back into the penal zone? If you're an evil space gorilla and you know it, clap your hands. This At fiend is more clever than we ever imagined. Darn. Would have been easy. My memory is fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure this is all your fault, Max. Eh, what can I say, Sam? Alien ships love to abduct me. It's not my fault I look so probable. This is at least the second time we know of. Well, let's get out of there. See you, Max. Keep in touch! Let's see if we can find out what Stinky's thinking, huh? Mustn't find out. I wonder if they suspect anything. What is he doing? Is he reading my mind right now? Yes. La, 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 la. Darn. Stay strong, skunk epic. Never let them go. You're crying inside. We hurt you where the doll can't show. I hope. Don't let them break you, Harry. Your name is Harry Molman. Your serial number is 2483562. Your cell number is 2125554865. Favorite color is taupe. You have an infection of the lower... Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, Sam, I got Harry Molman's phone number. 
nice work, little buddy. Make sure you wait three days to call, or he'll think you're desperate. Excellent, Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Skunkape locked the Mole Man's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. That's handy. So let's go up there, shall we? Good job, Max. Now there must be something here that'll help us knock Skunky back into the penal zone. Hey, Brain! Aren't you hooked into all the controls of this spaceship or something? Can you give us a hand with this thing? Let's be a little more sensitive. He doesn't have hands. So what's he gonna do? Punch me? No hands. Okay, let's talk to the Brain. Let's see what the Brain's got to say about all this. What are we supposed to be doing, Brain? I've already told you, you've got to find some way to knock General Skunkape into the penal zone. You'll have to excuse Sam. He's new at this. No, he's not. Let's switch to Sam and see if the brain has anything to say. I know what you're doing, Max. Cut it out. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see if Sam has anything of use to... Where is Sam? There he is. No, no. Fudge nuggets. Those are my favorite. Then pork fruit jerky strips. Interesting thing to be thinking of at a time like this. Okay, so what do we got here? We need more than just a picture of a space bazooka to do any damage to somebody as big as Skunk Ape. Oh gee, a picture you say? Hang on, let's press a button. It's locked. Oh. Uh. It's locked. Why is it locked? It's locked. Fabulous Off-World Vacation Departure Center. Hmm. For Mole Man, huh? Well, as you probably have guessed, we have a picture of a space bazooka here. What's in here? It's locked. Locked. Oh, goody. Everything's locked. So let's make that space bazooka real, shall we? And then let's use it. Good work, Max. Now let's. I'm a bazooka, Sam. A bazooka. Oh, just give me a moment to savor this. Oh yes. Uh, fulfilling Max's lifelong dream. One of them. Now let's give him purpose. If the game will load. Lock and load, Max. Careful with that trigger finger, Sam. Hey, Skunky, say hello to my little body. <laughs> Success! Friends, you have just participated in a troubling vision of the future. The first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its bowel-tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. Bum, bum, bum.
Sam! This haunted toy I found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future. I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean? Creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. Eh, uh, sorry about that building. What it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friends, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Our story begins 25 minutes ago, on a street very much like this one. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. Hello, Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. It wasn't my fault this time! Gaping, treacherous crack in the street, and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block. What's that, Commissioner? A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? Well, we didn't have anything to do with that. There aren't any crimes for us to solve? Okay, then. We'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. I'll have to call you back, Commissioner. Max has psychic powers now, apparently. That should bring us all up to speed. Now, where were we? Something about a spaceship. Hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. So yeah, with that, we now can actually begin the first chapter in the third and so far final season of Telltale's Sam and Max games. Even if my frame rate is set to plummet for this let's play. Goody. So anyway, this is a decent spot to stop the video. When we come back, we will talk to Skunkape, or Skunk Ape, whichever one you want to go with, and explore what's left of the street. Since Bosco's not here, Stinky Diner's the only thing that's here, and Sybil's bu building kind of looks crushed now. I think that was Sybil's building. Oh well, anyway. Take care, folks. See you next time.